Hi guys, so it's Saturday today, and it's about half eleven at night. Um, I have been in hospital since yes last night. Um, as I had some brown red light Friday night. When we got home, I had a home and discharge from Scotland, or a discharge, and so I went to sleep. And when I woke up in the morning, it was brown. And then, obviously, when I ran the hospital, I wanted to come and check, get checked out. Um, I went to talk before I come, and I wiped and it was big and like a mucus plug. So I took a picture and obviously I showed them to it. And they went, yeah, that's your mucus plug. So I've been kept in since. Hold on a minute. Oh. Sorry about that, that was, was on contraction. Um. And then, just we monitored, I had to have a steroid last night, um, just in case if babe comes early. And then obviously, then at ten past six this morning, my water's broke. So I'm not allowed to, or I'm not allowed to. I'm in labour ward at the moment with a candle at home. Um, with magnesium sulfate to help baby's brain be monitored, baby's heart, and obviously my contractions. And then I've also got a bag of fluid as well. And all day, I wasn't allowed to eat anything just in case if I had to have an emergency C-section. But I've managed to eat something just now. I've had a chicken curry, which was a little bit spicy. Mm. Oh, but yeah. Um, not really up what we should say, but I hear me. There's a little things in here, like for baby. There's not magnesium. There's my magnesium. Not my contractions. There's my bag of fluid. And obviously there's me. There's my contraction one. And then down here is the baby's heart beat. Ooh. And the foot. So I can get out without disturbing the thing. I got some sexy stock socks on. That's what I done since right yesterday. But yeah. Good morning guys. So t it is 7.23 and it's Sunday the 28th. I've been up been up majority of the night. It's on and off. As you can hear. There's baby's heartbeat. Still being monitored, and just on the last bit of magnesium thing. I don't know if I've got to have any more after that. We don't know. Um, but the amount of contractions I had yesterday, you'd have thought I'd have had the baby by now, but no, he's still here. Um, had no contractions through the night, so I just got one. I wait to see what the doctor says. Um. I'm going to do the rounds and see what the midwife also says. But yeah, that's us sound cool about half past eight, he says. To see what's going on. Oh, what's on? Um, they might let me home because I've had no contractions. Um, 
they just have to be kept an eye on even more. But yeah. I'll be glad if I do go home. I can get a decent night's sleep. Because every time I'm moved. Because obviously I'm hooked up to that. And I've got it on my stomach. And then I've got this in my hand as well. It's just not very comfy. And my back is hurting because I had to lay certain ways to pick the baby's heartbeat up. Otherwise, it's just packs up. I do apologise if you can hear someone screaming. Somebody is actually in labour. They don't want to crash home through the night because of the time I was at three o'clock. I heard nothing. So, we'll soon find out. Let's see what today brings. Um to unplug my charger because nothing's actually attached to it but anyway I'm going to go off and I'll update you when I can. So I've had some breakfast I'm only on one drip now till 20 past 9 I'm obviously in baby's heart for another 25 minutes but I'm so glad I could eat instead now I'm just waiting to see the doctor to see what plan is going to be put into place today um, yeah, so this morning I had Weetabix toast, orange juice and a cup of tea. They offered a tuck. But yeah, um, salmon's on his way up as well. And we'll see what today brings. And now I'm on the main ward. Um stay here for another night and then fingers got to go home tomorrow as long as this little man behaves himself so what else I can update you well, on Bobby came to see me today which was really nice I haven't seen him since Friday Um. yep so fingers crossed I go home tomorrow. Please behave. So, a quick update. Well, I've had him. I had him at 10 past 2 last night. He's not with me, he's in an incubator in the NICU. Oh. 
but I'll do a separate video all about him and how his label and my label was and all that lot. So at the moment I'm just on the recovery ward. It feels lost without him because he's not in there no more. He's he's human he's a little baby in an incubator. But I get to see him today. He was so tall. Just oh. Seeing him, the size of him, it's like thinking, oh, you see them on like TV and things like that, but no. My baby's down there. But anyway, it's quite funny, roughly, towards the end of the labour. But I will update you in the labour and delivery story. But yeah, that is the end of this vlog, just to keep you go. what's going on. I am so tired but yeah I hope you guys like this video and I will speak to you guys in my next video probably will be the labour and delivery but it depends I don't know yet I might do other vlogs where because I, I think I'm going home soon Um, I've got because I've got to have some blood thinners injections I've got to take home with me so I've got 10 days worth of them I think I've just had one so I've only got nine more I think but yeah hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys